Happy Sunday, everyone. How are you doing? So I wanted to do, um, have a quick conversation because we are in such uncertain times and I know I've been getting a lot of messages from my clients. So I thought I would share this conversation live on Instagram, live on Facebook, and I'm actually gonna use this content for my podcast because I know for me, I just don't know what to do right now, right? I'm full-time parenting during the day because my kids, like many of your kids, are not at school. And I'm also trying to run my business, but my in-person business has completely clapped, right? Fitness is a non-essential service. Um, and so I'm not seeing clients in person. I know I've taken on some clients virtually training uh, and they've been doing amazing, which is really exciting. But I thought I would jump on and have this conversation with all of you to see how I can support you, right? Because I don't know what to do on how to best support you. One thing that I firmly believe is that your health is your wealth and there is no time like now to really get clear on that. What is your health about right now, right? Because in such uncertain times and in times of a global crisis like we are in now, a lot of us don't know what to do and I wanted to invite you to share with me how I can best support you. And one of the things that I do for a lot of my friends and different entrepreneurs in the community is I support them on how can they support their clients from a place of being of service uh, that will help their businesses thrive, right? I mean, I'm a health and fitness professional, fitness nutrition accountability coach. So that isn't necessarily my thing, but because I've been doing my online program for eight years now, it gives me an opportunity to share my learnings that I do with my clients uh, and my community so that I can impart that on to you. So is that something I can help you with? I have a couple calls coming up this week to whiteboard with some of my fellow entrepreneurs on how they can pivot in their business at this time, right? So if that is something that you need, I would love to support you also. So let's get back to your health being your wealth. What you can do today in this uncertain time paves the ground for what will show up for you in the next five, 10, 30 days, 50 days. And so what I wanted to share with you today is how I can help you, right? About how I can use my guidance, my knowledge, my expertise to get you through this uncertain time with perhaps more ease, with better health. Um, but I want to know, is this what you guys need? I mean, I don't have hundreds of thousands of followers, right? Um, I don't have this massive network. I run a fitness studio out of Toronto, but this is a really great opportunity for me to serve my clients, right? Starting tomorrow, I have an online platform that I've kind of been dabbling with the last year-ish or so uh, that I'm opening up so that my clients can get access to me five days a week now of group classes, yoga, resistance training. And for my clients, if any of you guys are watching that are close by in my area, I dropped off some equipment yesterday to, yesterday or the day before, oh my God, I can't keep my days straight, uh, to a client of mine. And so if you are a current client of mine, I'm happy to give you a package of equipment that you can borrow during this time so that you can do either virtual training one-on-one -on -one with me or um, join the online membership group. Right? And I will post the details below this so that if that's something that interests you, even if you are not in Toronto, not in close proximity, we can do this virtually now, right? Which is one of the interesting and perhaps beautiful things that's coming out of this, right? Even though we are social distancing, we are connecting more intimately in spaces like this to support each other in a time of uncertainty. And so I wanted to share I guess three things that I can support you in throughout this time. And I invite you to kind of sit with it and see how you can add it into your life, right? I've been kind of a little bit all over the place because I just want to be able to support people. This is my space, health and fitness, right? And I do know that 
with our health being our wealth. And at times like this, when stress is so high and we feel out of control and things are so uncertain, the one thing we have control of is what we feed our bodies, what we feed our minds, and what we, how we move, right? So I invite you to look at, you know, if you are home more often than ever before, this is your time to take on your health like it is your wealth right? Can you make time for 10 minute hits that I'm going to start posting every day for all of you to do for free, right? I mean, I've been running <laughs> online hits for eight years in my online program. So I invite you to try it on, right? I know there's a lot of fitness professionals right now doing that, but if you love my vibe, try it, put it into your schedule, right? If you need that a little bit more accountability, join our membership site, this will be live workouts every single day that will challenge you in strength, in metabolic conditioning, but also adding in the component of kind of yoga-esque flows so that you can tap into that parasympathetic nervous system, down-regulate that central nervous system, the fight or flight response that a lot, probably all of us are experiencing right now so that your stress hormones are not peaking, right? If you've listened to any of my podcasts before that I've spoken about, um, stress hormones. And if you've done my online protocol before over the last eight years, we touch on stress, right? That stress can be one of those things that's getting in your way of your health and fitness success. Because if your cortisol is super high, like all of our cortisols are right now, that your body doesn't know what to do in this fight or flight response. And oftentimes it starts storing fat, right? It starts giving back to the survival mode that your body needs in this survival time, right? And so what I encourage you to do is if you're in our membership group, use these tools every day, meditation, yoga, right? But here are three things you can start doing at home. Can you implement a morning ritual for yourself? I've spoken about morning rituals on the podcast. I speak about it in my online pro client program. I speak about it with my clients. And now I want to share it with you. Studies have shown that morning rituals based in whether it's journaling, whether it's breath work. Actually, a very good friend of mine right now is in LA with Hal Elrod. Hal Elrod is the creator of um, the morning, do I have the book here? The seven minute, sorry, the mo miracle morning. Uh, I often talk about the seven minute morning that you can do for yourself, but the miracle morning is based in a bunch of principles looking at, can you create silence in your morning? Right. And you can enlist your kids in this, right? A lot of you guys feel perhaps overwhelmed because our kids are in our face. Our partners are now in our space. My husband's work are going on to seven day on seven day off splitting their staff so that they can protect their staff from uh, exposure, right? So I have to have my husband home for seven days. Things don't run as efficiently in my household when my husband is in the space the entire day, right? Because he just thinks it's the weekend all the time. And because I run my business from home and I do a lot of podcasting and online stuff, I can function well in my house, right? So how are we able to manage that? Well, one of the things you can do is enlist your family, your husband, your kids, if you have kids at home, enlist yourself into finding a morning ritual that works. So download that book if you can. If you don't have Audible, you can get one book for free. Seven Miracle Mornings by Hal Elrod is an amazing place to start. But let me share three things that you can do that are super easy. Breath work or meditation, right? You can take five minutes to yourself or more even guys to get centered, to get grounded. If you want some meditations, I have them on the body project podcast. We have one that is a guided meditation by me. It's only three minutes that you can set the intention of the day. You can be grounded in gratitude and you can start your day with a solid foundation, right? Especially in times where we are overwhelmed and super anxious, right? That you can get into your belly breathing, your diaphragmatic breathing that really allows you, again, to step into that parasympathetic nervous system, down-regulating those stress hormones, those responses in your system, right? You can journal, right? I use the practice of journaling all the time, but now I'm kicking it up 
right? Because it allows you to download out of your head and onto paper, what anxieties are you dealing with? What are you grateful for? What are you pissed off about? Because a lot of us are angry, frustrated, like what the hell is going on? And that's okay. Right. But one of the things you don't want is to bottle that up saying, well, I should be grateful. I should be grateful. And just like making it get stuck in your body, get it out, journal five minutes, guys, do it, do it with your kids. My kids are journaling twice a day. Now we used to journal every night. We were journaling twice a day in the morning, morning, and in the, in the evening before bed, because I think these practices it's based in science, right? If you look at, you know, some of the top performers in the world, the Bill Gates of the world, the Elon Musks of the world, they are doing these things. This is a beautiful opportunity for you to try it on also, right? And the third thing you can do in terms of your health being your wealth is adding in movement. Yes, everyone wants to do the crazy hits and I welcome you to do those too because this is a great time to get on track with your fitness. But in terms of your morning ritual, I invite you to do something a little bit of a higher vibration and a lower intensity. Reason being, if you are already stressed, overwhelmed, and if you are like me, like I'm an optimist and I know we will get through this and I am living in a space of possibility, positivity, high vibration, right? But it is undeniable that when I'm waking up at 2.30 a.m. and I can't go to sleep until I meditate, that subconsciously I'm worried, subconsciously I am afraid, subconsciously this uncertainty. Look, my business has collapsed overnight, right? 20 private clients, two group classes a week to zero, right? Is significant, right? So it is no question that subconsciously, so it's no question that subconsciously this is going on, right? But I want you to, um, check in and say, how can I move my body that will downregulate those hormones? And so I recommend to you, I believe that meditation is through movement. Get into your body through either a yoga flow, uh, a good friend and two time podcast guest, Tracy Sagrati, and I will post that wherever you're watching this. Um, let me see if I can actually put it in Instagram at Tracy. Oh, I don't know if I can. So hopefully that's not wrong anyway at tracy sagrati on instagram is doing right now a 21 day free 10 minute yoga flow she is incredible to get into your body get into your breath right that will help honestly down regulate those stress hormones or do a stretch right? I have posted, I think it's on YouTube, a foam roller stretch that I do. I will post another just simple stretch that you can do on YouTube, but you could literally go Google five minute stretch. But I really believe this is how you should start your day, right? Not from a place of vigor and heightened um, metabolic conditioning, because that is the best way to downregulate that cortisol response. And then later on, if you have the energy, do a hit, but start your morning ritual with something more calming to your body. Some silence, some medica meditation, some breath work, some journaling, and then get into your body with breath, right? Yoga, stretching, save the hit for a little bit later. I promise you guys, it's grounded in science. You don't need to be jumping up and down first thing in the morning when your body is in this fight or flight stress, okay? The second thing, take a look at... Um, your self-care, right? I invite you, and I'll put some details here, to into the online membership, because I know that I can offer tremendous value there to hold you accountable, right? Because I do know, all my clients have been messaging me, that because people are so stressed and overwhelmed, people are turning to food as comfort. But how can we do that in a way that is responsible? right? You can still fuel your body well with good information. And especially when more bodies are stressed out, this is the time to fuel it well with immune boosting foods, right? But if your automatic is super snacking or turning to really comfort food or checking out of your eating, I can support you in mindful eating in how can I give you some really good recipes that are going to fuel your body from a place of nourishment of good information in your system so that your immune system can thrive, 
right? Because regardless if you are sick with the flu or COVID-19 or just at home with your kids, self-quarantining, guess what? If you're not managing your thoughts, if you're not moving your body, your immune system is getting depleted if you're not fueling your body well, if you're not doing the things that are gonna nourish it, I promise you. So my online membership structure will support you in that and can facilitate these conversations, right? And the third thing that I'm gonna continue doing is my podcast conversations. We've put a pause on the Frumpy to Fit um, series that I was doing with Dene Pierce because this takes precedence because I have tens of thousands of followers on my podcast. And this conversation is really important that, but one of the things I wanna know is that, do you want me to bring you inspiring content or do you want the tools right now that will support you that you need in this time of stress, right? The other day I did an interview with Michelle Jacobs, who is an incredible practitioner in the space of um, emotional freedom techniques, as well as heart math. Heart math is kind of the science that, for example, Dr. Joe Dispenza, if any of you guys are a Dispenza fan, uses to get into brain and heart coherence, right? This is the science of epigenetics. This is the science of how can we downregulate those stress hormones that are not going to give us cancer, that are not going to give us autoimmune um, diseases, that are not going to give us these ailments that happen when your immune system and responses are suppressed because of poor food, poor mindset, poor environment, right? Uh, and she also specializes in teaching people tapping. So emotional freedom technique is also grounded in science of hitting meridians of your body to help your body manage stress response in your body, right? So I can help you. Hey, Justin, I saw that you jumped on. I will call you back in five minutes. I just wanted to finish this quick live. Um, and Actually, if you are on Instagram, I invite you to jump on. I think there's a way that you can come into the conversation so that we can have this dialogue. But the three things that I can support you in right now, and I would love to hear from you, what do you need support in right now, right? My expertise are fitness, nutrition, and accountability. My expertise is having conversations online with some of the best fitness and movement professionals in the world on the podcast. So I invite you to let me know, what do you need support in? But what I know that I'm going to continue on is one online membership site that you were invited to do five days of live workouts that you have to show up for. I'm going to hold you accountable to that, but inside that membership portal and it's a smartphone app, right? So that you don't get bombarded with the news, right? We're going to cut out some of that noise so that you can focus on yourself and that self care. That online portal will offer you meditations, yoga, breath work, nutrition, right? And five live workouts, one every single day that you can show up live so I can hold you accountable and check in. How are you doing, right? The second thing, podcast conversations. We are ramping up the podcast conversations. I just did one with Michelle Jacobs. I'm going to be doing one with Jill Bunny who specializes in CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. We are going to do one with Tracy Segrati. Again, third guest on the podcast, sorry, third time guest on the podcast talking about how to get into your breath, how to get into your body through yoga. I'm gonna have a specialist in nutrition, uh, Karen Gannat with me on Tuesday, who will be getting into how can you fuel your body well from a place of nutrition to support your immune system. So I invite you to use those podcast conversations so that you can uh, step into that and keep that positive conversation vibe going, right? And I invite you in that, Try to avoid low frequency, stressful conversations in the news. Yes, we want to stay informed, but do we need to live and listen to five hours of the doom and gloom right now? Probably not, right? Get your information. Go to World Health Organization. Go to the Center of Disease Control. Go to the evidence-based research, right, to get your information from, right? Because you don't need to sit and listen to CNN and hear how many people are dying every single moment, right? So I invite you, you know, part of the podcast conversation of me sharing my voice with you and you listening is listen to things that are high vibration that will raise you up. And the third, things that I, third thing I can offer to you in support is check me out on Instagram, right? Like I will send you, I will post mini 10 minute hits that you can move your body with. 
right? I really believe that meditation is through motion. And if you know my story from my podcast, movement has always been my savior. And I invite you now, we have all the time and the excuse of having no time no longer exists, especially in the span of the next two to four weeks. I invite you to join that, right? And actually, Dr. Leah is jumping on. Hello, my beautiful friend, Dr. Leah from My Beauty Doctor. Um, her and I collaborated a couple months ago with some other amazing trainers in Toronto to do these amazing quick workouts that you can do at home. So jump on her Instagram. You can download that. She's doing amazing flash sale. I think it's like 10 bucks or something for you to do these workouts at home. So find what works for you, but move your body, guys. Get your kids to move your body, their body. I've been doing these 3 p.m. family workouts because I don't know about you, but my kids are going a little stir crazy. And even though we get outside to get some fresh air, it is not enough, right? Our kids are so used to being uh, vigorously moving in the space of recess with their, with their friends and peers. So these workouts have been a really fun way for my kids to move their bodies. So I'll post the link here if you want to get your kids involved in that too. Um, because I think it's just a fun way of us getting moving, our kids getting moving, because we all know that when we're trying to do something for ourselves, our kids are crying all over us because they just want a piece of us, right? So this is a way that you can get a piece for yourself and the kids can get a piece of the fun too. Thank you for all of you that were watching this and joining the conversation. Um, I will be continuing this conversation if you want to join, if you want to collaborate, and I want to know, how can I best support you? This is my jam. And for all of you guys that are sitting at home, one of the things I invite you to do is look at where is your flow state, right? If you are, um, let's think, if you are a psychologist at home, right, because now your practice has been shut down. What value can you bring to the world from a place of service and love and lifting the, I don't know, conversation about this, right? It could be a blog post, right? If you never had time to blog before, maybe this is the time. It could be a five minute live video on Instagram or Facebook to support your friends and your family and colleagues. It could be, you know, doing a coffee and conversation or maybe wine conversation every night with your friends or family um, that you can do a live stream. And if you need support, I can teach you how to do that. I do this in my online program all the time. This little, uh, now I'm losing my Instagram, right? So you can do this so that people can feel supported and connected, right? This age that we're in is so different than, you know, when smallpox was the pandemic, right? We can interact with each other this way and feel connected and bring some lightness into this time. And not from a place of disrespect or disregarding it, but we have a beautiful opportunity, guys, to connect right? And so ask yourself, what light can you bring into the world at this time? What fun can you bring into the world? Maybe with your family, with your kids. Maybe this is a great time for them to do a dance party for their friends um, on social media, right? Because I know my kids love to dance, my kids love to move, and maybe we should all connect on each other with each other, right? I know Facebook, I don't know if it's new, but they are doing a um, Facebook messenger for kids, right? How cool is that? Let's get our kids connecting. Anyway, I think I've gone on long enough, 24 minutes of conversation, um, but that's how I can support you. I would love to hear from you. Comment below, comment in here. If you're watching this here after, how can I support you from health, fitness, mindset, nutrition? Because I have the expertise in this space, right? So I would be delighted to be of service this way. Thank you so much, guys. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe, stay healthy. Um, thank you guys for joining on Instagram. I see you. I support you. Um, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Yes, my love. Oh.